Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Black Friday try-on haul as well as showing you a little bit of what I purchased for Cyber Monday. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then just stay tuned. <laughs> Since I've never showed you guys anything about clothes on my channel, um, I thought I would change it up with this background, so yeah. So I never really feature anything about clothes and my style, just because I am a physical education major and I'm student teaching right now, so I spend most of my days wearing gym clothes, to be honest. I'm not the most fashionable. I love following those fashion accounts, but I don't know, they're just not realistic to me. Those girls are too fashionable. To dress like them would take too much time. I'm much more simple in my fashion choices, so I just thought I would show you guys kind of what I'm into, and I feel like it's just more realistic, you know? So my makeup taste is a little bit more expensive and high-end, but when it comes to clothes, I'm not afraid to shop at cheap shops. There's something satisfying about buying a really good piece for really cheap. So I'm going to start off at my favorite store that I got some of the best pickups from, which was H&M. The Black Friday sale for H&M was 30% off your entire purchase. The first thing I purchased was a pair of jeans. I did not need jeans. I have so many, but I couldn't help myself because these are just so cute. Do you see how they have these tiny little diamonds on the front. I don't have a pair of jeans that have just the shininess on them. So these are the skinny ankle high waist. For size reference, I got mine in a 26. Now just so you know, I am only 4'10". I'm very tiny. So as you can see in the try on portions, I did have to cuff the jeans just because they are super duper long on me, but all jeans are unless I get them in the short length. What I don't like about these is I don't like that they're not super skinny at the ankle and half of that is just because my ankle is where the average woman's calf is. So the ends are always a little bit bigger and I like pants that are super duper tight around the ankle. So those don't fit me perfect, but honestly, I was very surprised about the fit of these jeans. I'd never really tried H&M jeans before. If it's not American Eagle, I feel like it always looks weird on around my crotchal region, but I mean, this was a tad bit weird, not the most flattering, but these are originally $29.99 and with the sale, I got them for about $20. So I am so excited for these. These are going to look so cute with all of my blouses and sweaters for the winter. I also picked up this beautiful romper. So it is just a romper that's short with long sleeves. It's kind of like a fake velvet. And if you can see, it really glitters in the light. So this is going to be super amazing for the holidays. Now, since I am so tiny, like I said, I'm 4'9", with super short torso, rompers never fit me. So this isn't the most super flattering, but actually for a romper, it fits me very well. Rompers don't ever fit me well, so I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to wear it around the holidays. And I thought this would look really cute with some tights underneath because, of course, it's super cold. I live on the East Coast. So I did pick up a two-pack of tights which by the way, these were $9.99. So I got them for $7. And they aren't super opaque. They do have some sheerness to them. I really like them, though I will say I don't like how this fabric lays over these leggings because it causes the end of the shorts on the romper to bunch a little bit, but I'd rather it bunch a little bit than maybe super cold, you know? So by the way, I got the tights in a small and then I got the romper in a size 2. So the romper is originally $29.99. So this was a little over $20. And so I feel like I got such a good deal on this. And it's, I'm so excited for this. I have literally nowhere to wear this to because I don't leave my house. But I also got this button down shirt. And I got this in a US size 4. And this is originally only $14.99 and I love button-ups like this. I think they're so cute with jeans or when I do actually need to dress professional. I do like these with a pair of slacks or pants. You can do so many things with just a plain white button-up and they look so cute with the glitter jeans that I bought tucked in. So for $14.99, this is an amazing price and of course it's 30% off of $14.99. This was around only $11. This is one of the best deals if you ask me so i'm so excited for this 
and it's really really silky as well so it just falls over the body really nice so again so excited for this don't sleep on these button ups because they can be dressed so cute they can be layered so cute so i'm so excited for this this is the last thing that i picked up from h&m and it's just this really big blanket scarf it is huge it honestly looks super huge on me where it's to the point where it's almost unflattering but i really don't care this was supposed to be a present but i think i'm just going to keep it <laughs> because I love it. I love this black and white print. This, some jeans, and a big jacket are going to look so cute. And guess what? This was only $5. This was actually originally $19.99, and I got it on clearance for $5, which is such an amazing deal, because this feels really soft, and it's really thick, and it's not scratchy or anything either, so I'm really excited about that. Moving on, I picked up a shirt from Charming Charlie's. Charming Charlie's I like mainly for their accessories and their cute little knickknacks. I don't purchase clothes from them too often just because I feel like they're really cheap. I don't like the material their clothes are made of because it's always really lightweight and sheer. But they were having a 50% off their clothing and they do have some cute stuff. I can't lie. So I did end up picking up one shirt. I picked up a bunch of other little knickknacks for gifts that I'm giving away. But, you know, some of my family watches my videos. So I don't want them to see what I got. So this is originally $32. So I got it for only $16. And it's just a plain gray long tunic with this white sheer. But the party is really in the back. I don't know, kind of looks like a tail, I feel like, but it gets really sheer here towards the bottom. Um, in the try-on, I did have jeans underneath, but I think this would look a lot cuter with some leggings and boots. I think that would be a lot cuter. So the last clothing store that I purchased things from was Hollister. But I swear that I always find the cutest things at Hollister. I don't know, I just feel like everybody sleeps on Hollister. They really do have some really cute stuff. I did work there for three years, so... I'm biased, <laughs> but their store was 50% off and that's a really the best time to purchase from their store just because that was the employee discount when I worked there. Um, I always like to pick up one flannel every year from Hollister. So this is originally $40, so I did get it for $20. And so I picked up this flannel right here. I really love the colors. I didn't have a flannel that was this color. I really like that their flannels aren't too thick and chunky. I know some people like that, but I personally don't because I think it just adds extra weight to me and this makes it more wearable for year round. You can tie this around your waist in the summer, which is something that I like to do a lot. So I do like the versatility of how much you can wear the Hollister flannels and I also really like the length of this. This is really long, so I can wear it with leggings and it layers really well over oversized t-shirts, so I really do love this. Except my boyfriend, my boyfriend that said I look like I chop wood for a living when I wore this the other day to breakfast, but he's a stupid boy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's really cute. I also picked up this lettuce turtleneck top. So I got it in black and white stripes because I really like stripes. And the lettuce comes from the way the ends of the sleeve and the neck are. Now I accidentally picked this up in a medium, which by the way, I picked the flannel up in a small. I think I forgot to mention that. But I picked this up in a medium on accident. I meant to get a small. So it is a little bit more loose on me than I would like. But I mean, it's naturally a tight shirt, so that's okay. Uh, if I have the time, I am going to go and probably exchange this for the size that I meant to get because I would definitely like this to be a little bit tighter on me. It has a bit too much fabric, but it, it's really cute regardless. It's going to look so cute tucked into some jeans or with a skirt. With the discount, this was only $10, so you can't beat it. I also got this top, which was also $10, and it is just an off-the-shoulder white t-shirt. I got this in a small, and it fits me much better than that other shirt. And I almost want to get this in more colors just because this t-shirt is so versatile. It's nice and tight, so you can tuck it into skirts, into pants, into jeans. There's so many things you can do with this top. I like that it's not cropped. I'm over the whole cropped thing. $10, this is an awesome, awesome deal. And it's gonna go with so many things. They have it in so many colors. And then I got three of the same thing, but just in different colors or patterns. And one thing you will learn about me is if I like something, I have to own it in every color that it comes in. 
So I've been really into, I guess they're gaucho style pants, but just the really loose wide leg pants. Because I'm so short, I'm always looking for a pair, like my perfect pair. I did find this perfect pair in Koreatown, in freaking Los Angeles. So I do like the ones from Hollister. They are a bit like two or three inches longer than I would like, but I could always get them hemmed, but honestly, I mean, they cut above my ankle, so it works out. So these were $20 each, which is a little bit, but I have a really hard time finding a pair that I like the style of and how it looks on me, so I'm not mad. So I got these in a size extra small. Normally I get a small, but for these pants, I got an extra small. And so I just got a black pair, and I like how these look like long skirts, you know, but they're not they're pants and these are gonna be really great i love the way they look with like loafers or mules so i also got it in black just with like a small little yellow floral pattern i don't know i thought it was like a really cute dainty pattern and then i got this blue and white striped pair normally i don't really like pattern pants but i feel like i would love to wear these on the beach but you want to know something funny? I never go to the beach. So I bought this with the image of wearing this to the beach. And I haven't been to a beach in years. So I don't know. Hopefully I go to a beach or something this year so I can wear those pants. All right, moving on. That is all of the clothes I bought on Black Friday. I haven't bought clothes in so long, but that's just like so many new clothes to me. So I did also go to Bath & Body Works for Black Friday. They always have the three for three deals and I'm really over Bath & Body Works to be quite honest, but I do enjoy their candles. They truly have the best holiday scents. So I was going to go for the single wick candles just because when I light a candle it's in my bedroom and the three wick candles are actually quite overpowering. It makes me a little sick, but they did not have the good scents. So I just went ahead and spent the extra money and got the big three wick candles. I'm, I don't need all six of these, so I'm going to throw in a few for presents. But I got winter candy apple, which... This is my favorite holiday scent ever. I have so many memories with the scent. I've used Winter Candy Apple since I was young in high school, so I have so many memories wrapped around this scent that, that just remind me of some weird times, to be honest, my weird high school days. And then I also, of course, had to get Vanilla Bean Noel. <sighs> Again, another one that's just wrapped into my young teenage years. Uh, I'm definitely keeping these for myself because they smell super amazing. I also picked up Winter. I That store is so overwhelmed with scents that I they all started to smell the same to me. And I thought this smelled really good in the store. And now that I'm smelling it now, it's not my favorite. Um, it does have a wintry scent, which I think is what was appealing to me about it. Because I wanted to, I like winter candles because I want them to smell like winter and Christmas and the holidays because it's the best time of year, but I don't know. I also got Mary Cookie and this I smelled at the last second and I put away one of the candles I got because this is like, this smells like a cookie. It smells like vanilla. Mm. I'm not good at describing scents, but just know this just smells like a dessert, like vanilla icing on top of I don't know like vanilla icing I literally feel like I can taste whatever the heck I'm smelling and I just want to stick my face in it this is one of those scents that's probably going to be too overpowering in this room but I don't care it smells so good that I don't care I also got arctic berry super duper sweet smelling and now that I'm smelling it alone in my room with no other scents to distract me Smells a little bit too perfumey to me, a little bit too chemically. <sighs> now I'm sad because these were expensive. And then I also got Tis the Season. Mm, this is very, very cinnamony. I'm really happy I got this. It's not even that I necessarily love this smell, but it just, it smells like the holidays to me. Something about this cinnamon scent just really reminds me of the holidays. So I really like that. So from this here haul, I do not recommend Arctic Berry and Winter, but Vanilla Bean Noel, Candy Apple, Winter Candy Apple, what is this? Tis the Season, and Merry Cookie. 
And this Mary cookie's making my mouth water. Okay, I need to put these away. So let's talk Cyber Monday really fast. Of course, it's Monday that I'm filming this. I haven't received anything yet from Cyber Monday. But Cyber Monday is when I always become super irrational and just like purchase everything. I restrained pretty well today. I bought a lot of things I didn't need, but I restrained myself. These items aren't going to make it into a haul, so that's why I'm talking about them right now. From American Eagle, I love American Eagle because I love American Eagle jeans. They are the best for a short gal like me who's got some thicker thighs. So if you are petite with some thicker thighs, get on that. So I did end up getting a pair of jeans from American Eagle just because I love their jeans so much. So I got an ankle pair. So an ankle pair is especially good for a short person like me because they are naturally shorter. So when I get them, they're not going to fit me like an ankle pair. Though I so desperately want a pair of skinny ankle jeans because I just... <laughs> Because I can't have it. I want what I can't have. I got them for $35, which isn't bad for a American Eagle jean deal. I got them in the size too short. But sometimes their sizing's inconsistent. So we will see how that goes. And I also got a pair of shoes for $20. Because they have size 5 in American Eagle. And they never have my size in shoes ever anywhere. So I love American Eagle shoes. So I got just a simple pair of pointed toe mules. I love shoes like those. I think they're so cute. Fingers crossed those turn out okay. And I did order some Cyber Monday makeup. I did order from Juvia's Place. They were having 40% off at Ulta, but I don't know why, but I ordered on the website because I didn't know it was at Ulta. But anyways, this was like, I don't know what came over me. And you guys know there's a monster that possesses me when I am in a... A sort of retail establishment or you know online looking at a retail website and so the monster made me buy the Saharan palette and the warrior palette so I got the warrior palette for $11 it's a beautiful neutral color palette and then I also got the Saharan palette a lot of them were sold out so I didn't really want the Saharan palette but I wanted another one besides the warrior palette so that was the second best Thing. So I just heard a lot of great things about those eyeshadows, so I figured I would give it a go again. I was possessed. I really, I don't know why I ordered those, but I'm trying to expand my content on my channel, so I'm trying out different brands, you know. Um, which leads me to my next um, Cyber Monday purchase. I ordered 25 things from Ulta.com. <laughs> Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I reached out and I said, Hey, I'm ordering some drugstore product for some future videos. I don't know what to try because I'm not super duper experienced with drugstore products. So I just ordered a bunch. All of it was on sale. I only bought the on sale makeup. And I got 25 things for a hundred and like, I think it was a hundred and sixty dollars. That is so good, I feel. So, um, you guys will get a whole haul video on that. I'm so excited to try all these new drugstore makeup products that I got. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But this is a nice, a nice change of scenery. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Seriously, like, I say this in every video, but I mean it. I want to know what content you want to see from me. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.